I just picked up a case of 2017 Allen & Ginter from my local hobby shop today. Uh, I ordered it probably a year ago, and I get a case pretty much every year. There you go. This is what it looks like this year, and we're going to be busting it. Well, at least we're going to be busting one box of it uh, to start. Uh, I have a contest that I need to finish. I, uh, the first mini I pull is going to make somebody win something, or maybe it might be like the second mini if it's not an actual sports team for the first one. But oh wait, I still need that. We've got 12 boxes ready to go, and we won't. We don't want the top one. Let, let's go. Ah, that one. That one looks good. All right. We got a box. It goes this way. And it's just like the last two years. Off we go. We got 24 packs, and we've got this nice case topper. Or I shouldn't say case topper. It's a box topper. There's no case topper in this. Uh, let's see what we get here. Starting off the break with a nice... Josh Donaldson box topper. Kind of a black and white design. They are slightly, maybe a slight tinge of purple to them. Maybe like magenta. There, there's no blue in this Blue Jays. But uh, not too bad looking this year. I usually don't go after the baseball case uh, box toppers. Usually it's only if they're like a, a non-sport one. And there haven't been for the last couple of years. But here we go. First pack. Actually, no. Let's dive in a little bit here. Go in here. First pack. Let's see who gets the mini here. We've got... Throw the mini to the back. We've got... Mr. Brian McCann starts off the break. I don't know how I feel about these. That's kind of a nice photo, but... I don't know. The design's... eh. Not super impressed with it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what the mini looks like. Uh, who the heck is this? Peter Rosenberg, a DJ from Maryland. Alright. Johnny Damon, Red Sox. Salvador Perez, Kansas City Royals. Mike Moustakis, Kansas City Royals. Randy Johnson, in the D-backs uni. And this is a What a Day insert featuring Max Scherzer. This is May 11th, 2016. Scherzer pushes it to the max. Uh, after two no hitters in 2015, Max penned another masterpiece the following May, baffling the Tigers, his former team, with his off speed pitches and a fastball that really just seemed to work for me tonight. Scherzer struck out a record tying 20 batters in a 3 2 win. He had a chance for one more, but his opponent grounded out to end the game. Oh, that's right. His 20 strikeout performance. Anyway, and our mini from the pack is a horizontal mini featuring the Philadelphia Phillies of Odubel Herrera. Now, let's see who had the Phillies, if anyone. We've got... We do. We have somebody who picked the Phillies. A Wilf... I am going to butcher your name. Wilf Necht. Let's see. I've never heard of you, Wilf. But you just won contest number four of my 2017 Gintry Goodness Contest. Congratulations. Uh, I'll reach out to you if I can find your contact information, and we'll get you a prize. But congratulations. Now, I'm going to break the rest of this box here. You can feel free to leave. I don't mind. But you can see what I get, too, if you want. I'm going to go through the rest of the case, or at least this box, a lot faster. So off we go. Uh, here's another new full-size insert, this one featuring the World's Fair. I kind of like this design. It's got a lot of red in it. may not be able to tell from the video, but the uh, background of that World's Fair is very red. This one's featuring the Sun Sphere. I'll have to read on that. I'm not going to read this one to you. Um, 
but that, that's actually pretty cool. That's better than I was expecting. I was expecting, like, featuring the cities or, uh, I don't know, but that, that's not too bad. We'll see. We'll have to look at the rest, too. Uh, I got a Corey Seager. Uh, oh, and my first hit already. Kind of a boring relic of Stephen Piscott. I do like these full-size relic designs a little better than the past two, though. Kind of frames the the actual piece of cloth a little better. Um, just a slightly more attractive-looking card. And I do like that, if you notice, like, so here's Seeger, and here's the relic. Uh, Seeger's got that ovular border. This one doesn't. I like this design. Not Not a huge fan. But, we'll see. And the mini from this pack is an Allen and Ginter back. The other one was just a regular back. There's the Allen and Ginter back this year. Number 218, Tim Anderson, and another horizontal. I don't... I haven't pulled a horizontal base card yet. So I'm wondering if all of these minis are horizontal. Last year they did something like that. Uh, or not something like that. But they had a subset of horizontal minis. Um, but yeah, all these base cards are all vertical. They had a subset of horizontal minis last year uh, that their base full-size card was not horizontal. So that was kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how much I like the horizontal minis, though. We'll see. Another pack. Another What a Day, this one featuring Mashihiro Tanaka. And, oh, here's the black minis this year. This one's Dan Jedning, baseball executive. I thought the black minis were supposed to be, like, full bleed. Or not full bleed. Well, it's all black. Like, that's the uh, promo sheet I saw. It was an all black mini. This is slightly speckled. I wish they were all black. Um, but maybe that means they're doing the Allen Unitar X again this year. Which I would not mind. I must say that those are better than the last two years, though. I, I kind of like those. Hmm. All right. And nothing special in the rest of that pack. Not showing off face cards. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Okay, Chris will like this. Uh, Chris of Nachos Grande uh, collects these fish minis, and this is almost identical, or at least that bottom part is almost identical to the original Allen and Ginter fish set. If not identical, holy cow, that's close. Um, that's pretty cool. That that. Yep. Up here. This, uh, this whole, like, I don't know, seaweed, or, uh, and then, I like the titling here. Very nice. Rainbow Trout and Spoon is what the, the name of this set is called. Or, not set, uh, that card. And then we got our first mini insert. This one, Bust a Move, Dance Moves. This is about what I was expecting. Not Nothing super special here. This is featuring the Irish dance. What is cool, this is actually really neat. On the back, instead of a blurb about the dance, it actually teaches you how to do the dance. I'm not going to be able to hold that steady so you can read it. That's really cool, though. I am not a dancer, but that I appreciate. Uh, of note, got a Nolan Ryan base card. That's kind of cool. Onward and upward. Another World's Fair. And we've got our second hit in this pack. The Great Wharf. This is from Chicago. I have no idea. I'll, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to read these all to you, but this is, a, this is a set that'll teach me some things, and I'm excited about that. Our mini from this pack is another Alan Ginter back mini. You know I don't like these. And it's also, again, horizontal. So that might be just how these minis are this year. 
This is uh, Adam Duvall. That'll be interesting if that's um, how they are. And our first, or second hit, but our first autograph is a non-sport autograph featuring Crazy George. Uh, he's a super fan of some sort, so it says the back of the card. I do not believe I know him. But there was a Marlin super fan last year, or it, may, it might have been two years ago now, uh, in, but in one of the recent Allen and Ginter sets, and this is another one, it appears. Not super excited about that, but it's an autograph. Eh. What a day, and Edwin Encarnacion. Hey, it's our first actual vertical mini, so it's not all going to be horizontal. This is a regular back of Jay Bruce. Oh, what? They're putting in, even in Allen and Ginter, why are they doing this? They're putting these Rediscover Tops cards even in Allen and Ginter. So this is Robin, Vin Robin Ventura, that's kind of cool. Um, but this is, I don't even know, 89 Tops? 89? 89 tops, yep. Rediscover top silver. Oh boy! <laughs> I have no idea what the rarity of that is. Uh, Ooh, that's a nice Hank Aaron shot. I like that card. It's almost like a younger Hank Aaron. He looks like he's 25 in that photo. That's kind of cool. Another fish card. This one is the Northern Pike and Large Spinner, Sport Fish and Fishing Lures. That's I really like those. I was not expecting to like those, and those are really neat. Uh, our mini is Trey Mancini. This is actually a short print mini, numbered 301, and a couple more base cards. Uh, Chris Bryant, what a day. Five for five, oh my. Oh, these are cool. All right, so they showed a, they had a teaser of this what a day, or not, I'm sorry, not what a day, these world dudes, and it was red. I didn't like the red. This is blue, so it's probably going to be all sorts of different colors. This is such a cool looking card. This is the Newsboy dude. And apparently this is the 40 or 50 card mini insert set this year. Which is so much better than the last two years. What did we have? We had First Ladies and then we had U.S. Mayors. Didn't like those. This is cool. I'm excited about that. That one's the Newsboy dude, number 17. It's a base. And then... Another freaking Rediscover Tops card. Hooray, another 89 card. Paul Mirabella. This, oh, okay. So this is the Revolutionary Battles uh, full-size insert set. I was excited about this one. Um, it's a little disappointing to me. At least that's first impression. This is the Battle of Cowpens. I kind of like the border. I wish the art was more vibrant, I suppose. I, I don't know. I'll have to see another one. I'm gonna reserve judgment. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we, got, we got a mini of uh, Nick Jonas. <laughs> that's regular back. Hey, there's uh, Andrew Benatendi's base card rookie. Oh, that's a uh, this is a pretty often used photo, but it's still a cool looking card. I love the uh, the purplish background that they use there. Ted Williams, what a day! Too legit to quit. Another horizontal mini, regular back, featuring Trevor Story. I don't mind the horizontal minis. I think they're kind of cool. Hmm. 
World's Fair Unisphere. I like that set. Another horizontal mini. Steven Matz. It's Alan and Ginter back. What a day! Greg Maddox! Happy with that card. And another black border mini. This is of rookie Kyle Freeland. Yeah, I don't mind these blacks. I thought I was going to hate them if, if they weren't the uh, full, full bleed black, but uh, those aren't too bad. They don't actually look black, though. It's weird. The uh, color... I'll show you again. The color, like that blue, actually bleeds into the black. It makes it less black than I would expect, I suppose. Uh, another... Full-size fish insert. This one is Wahoo. I think that's an Alaskan saltwater fish. Uh, Wahoo and plastic skirted lures. Uh, nope, not Alaska. Tropical waters. <laughs> and then we got Alex Reyes rookie. That's a uh, regular back mini. What a day featuring George Brett. This is uh, Braden Shipley, regular back mini. That's a short print. <laughs> Deion Sanders. That's another. Why are they doing all 89s? Oh, that's that's 89 tops traded though. World's Fair facsimile. Uh, wait, what? Facsimile machine? Okay. And then we got a Mikhail Franco. That's Alan and Ginter back. Two thirds of the way done here. What a day featuring Adrian Beltre. Another horizontal mini featuring Hunter Pence. Regular back. Oh, that's my guy. Gotta show that one off. My PC guy, Julio Tehran. Nice smug looking uh, photo from him. What a day, Justin Verlander. We got a Gary Sanchez mini, regular back. World's Fair diesel engine. I wonder how big this set is. We've got like five of those cards already. Uh, Elvis Andrews. Helen and Ginter back. That's a nice uh, base of Roberto Clemente. Like that one. What a day! Giancarlo Stanton. What is this? Oh, cool! Hold on. <laughs> Alright, you will not be able to see this. Alright, I'm going to show you the back first. This is the Constellations mini insert set. Alright? It's numbered C6 Leo. Oh, hold on. My computer just went to screensaver. C6 Leo, and if you can see, there's these little dots. They look uh, almost beige. Um, well, I believe it's because it's glow-in-the-dark. This is the front of the card. If you really look, it probably the camera probably will not focus well enough, but you can see that's really cool. If that's really glow-in-the-dark, that's awesome. That's so neat. I love it. That's it. when you, when you opened it in the pack, though, it it, it literally looked like this. I thought I got like a a blank back mini. 
it's perfectly white from a distance. But there's there's little dots on it. Oh, if I like twist it, it almost hits the light. Yeah, you can kind of see it hit the light in certain ways. That's pretty cool. I like that. Neat idea. Neat idea. See, I like this one better. So here's another of those uh, revolutionary battles. This one is the Battle of Quebec. I like that one. Not bad looking. We got David Dahl Mini. That's uh, a regular back. What a day! Ooh, what a day featuring Cal Ripken Jr. Almost a tie-dyed background. I like that. That's cool. And here's another one of those world dudes. This one's green. I like this a lot. Ornithology dude. That's pretty cool. Are you serious? <laughs> So I got to rediscover tops of the 1988 checklist. Uh, the 661, the 792. That's ridiculous. I actually enjoy that. Oh, boy. We got three packs left. and oh, Three packs left. And we still got one hit to go. So uh, stay tuned. And we just got it. All right. So first and foremost, we've got... A f another sport fishing fishing lures insert. This is the grouper and diving plugs. Uh, mini. What is this? Uh, this is a regular back mini of Paris locks. Uh, sold for refugee aid. Is this like locks of hair? I've never heard of this. For years, couples attach padlocks to two bridges on the river Seine in Paris as a sign of love. Between 08 and 2015, the locks added some 45 tons of additional weight to the Pont des Arts uh, and the Pont des... Oh my gosh. Two bridges, posing the structural danger to both. The city announced in 2016 that it would sell the locks and donate the proceeds to support refugees in the city. I've never heard... I've seen that kind of thing in movies, but I've never heard of that specific one. That's interesting. It's a nice red patch. Or not a patch. Nice red relic of Dustin Pedroia. Boston Red Sox. I like this design. This is pretty cool. The red against that blue is really neat. I really like that. There you go. There's my third hit. We've got two more packs to go. Maybe we'll get a cool mini. Maybe we really will get a cool mini. Um, this is What A Day Ty Cobb. And this mini looks really neat. What is it? Oh, right. I, rem I forgot about this set. This is the required reading mini insert. It's kind of neat looking. This one's Moby Dick. And there's the back of them. Required reading. Interesting. And the last pack of this first box. Everybody wants to see it. I finally pulled the judge. There you go. <laughs> I'll have plenty of them. Uh, another sport fishing, uh, fishing lures. This one's the largemouth bass. And soft plastic worm. And our last mini is a regular back mini of Salvador Perez. That's it. That does it for box number one. Thanks for watching. And again, congratulations to the guy whose name I cannot pronounce. Uh, I will try again. Wilf Necht. Something like that. Reach out to me if you can, because I don't see your email anywhere. Um, I'll try to ping you, but... Again, congratulations. Congratulations. I can talk, I promise. Um, 
and I'm liking these inserts so far. So, happy ginter breaking to all the rest of you, and we'll see you for the rest of these 11 boxes.